Hey guys, Tim here with EverVenture Custom, and we're here again with the 2019 Suburban. This time we did a custom build for a customer that uh, wanted some particular things that we haven't done in other builds. So we'll go through and show you all the stuff we did. So uh, let's take a look. So the first thing you probably notice is we don't have the typical drawers that pull out like we normally do. Uh, this customer in particular, she wanted a 28 by 70 inch bed just for a single person. And she wanted space on the side here for the floor. And she also wanted two inches of space on here to tuck her blankets in and around the sides. So now that we don't have the drawer system here, what we did is we kind of put these cubbies. And this is plenty of storage for her. She can put our clothes and belongings and stuff in both of those uh, cubbies there. All right, guys, moving on to the side units here. As you can see, we have Baltic plywood sides. Um, we integrated these things into the vehicle as much as possible. We have the two upper bungee cord areas, which are open storage. And they're lit with LED lighting. Um, we also took, we integrated the old factory speaker back into the car. This used to be located on the side. We bring it up here. We also put these hooks back in that were in the headliner. And we also took on the back here, we put the plastic back in that we ripped out, we integrate that back into the side just to make it look like it came from the factory like that. So we really try to dress these things up as much as possible and get as much storage as we can. In here, we have a little garage area. This keeps your jack and all your electronics in there. And then over there, we got a couple batteries and uh, just some more storage. All right, guys, so we're moving on to the ceiling now. The customer wanted to keep the factory ceiling in this car. Um, she didn't want the wood ceiling like we've done in other vehicles but we were still still able to throw the uh, led lights in there and the fan we threw the leds on dimmers on the back there and then the fan is still the typical uh, dometic fan right there that's reversible so it can either suck air out or bring air in but uh yeah the ceiling came out pretty nice all right guys so the next thing i want to talk about is this kitchen that we stuck behind the driver's seat here um, this has a nice laminated countertop um, you got your Dometic fridge right below here. You've also got a pretty deep sink. It's about four or five inches deep. And you got your faucet that's connected to two four gallon jugs down there. One is a gray water, one's a fresh water. We also have on the side right here, you can see we have a five pound propane tank. And that has a line that comes up and you can attach it to your uh, cooktop or your burner. We have a one burner stove that goes right here. And uh, anyway, it just kind of becomes a little kitchen inside your Suburban. So. I have a perfect little fit for this thing. And right behind here, I can go ahead and show you uh, how it's all hooked up behind here. So as you can see back here, we have the back of the refrigerator. We also have those two four gallon jugs. One's a drain, one's for the fresh water. We also have that little pump there. You can see that pumps the water to the uh, faucet there. And our propane tank is right behind the seat. All right guys, so now we're inside the vehicle. And the first thing I wanna point out is this LVP flooring. This is a completely waterproof flooring. So if she came in here with uh, wet feet or anything like that, it's gonna be fine. We also trimmed it out with this aluminum trimming and uh, that just really makes it look really nice, makes it pop. And it also protects the sides from, you know, just feet and any kind of wear and tear. We also have on the side here, we have an inverter. This is a 2000 watt inverter. So now she can plug in anything that's AC related, um, especially, you know, things for the kitchen or whatever she wants to use as for appliances or whatever. And then right here, this little pad comes out. This folds up over here and this just folds right here, kind of revealing some more floor space for you. So if she's at the kitchen area kind of working, it just kind of gives her a little bit more area there to uh, stand around in. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Right, guys so that's the build that's the 2019 suburban um, i really appreciate you guys watching our videos and uh to those who've been following us this whole time um, we really appreciate you guys following along with us and uh, checking out our new, latest and new builds um, if you want to see another build check out here if you want to see a how-to video check this video out right here and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one thanks